Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and this is theCUBE, Silicon Angle's continuous production. We're here at Knowledge, we're in Vegas. My co-host Jeff Frick and I have been going wall to wall. We did all day yesterday a number of executives from ServiceNow. We had Frank Slootman on, we had Fred Luddy on twice. He was fantastic this morning, post keynote. We had a number of practitioners. Today has been about unpacking the messaging. So basically when we come to these events, the, the vendors put forth their me messaging and then we try to talk to the audience and talk to the practitioners and say, okay, how well did that resonate with you? Are you actually doing what they're saying? And many times there's a huge dissonance. We've seen today probably five or six times we had Marathon, CareWorks, FICO, we just had Yale University. The messaging is very consistent. We have the CIO from Australia. Uh, uh, messaging has mm -hmm. been very, very consistent. In other words, you're seeing the adoption of the technology in a way in which ServiceNow is putting it forth. So that's you know, high marks for that. Beth White is here, she's the Chief Marketing Officer at ServiceNow. Beth, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much. First time on, we're it excited is, to have it you. It is, it is, my first time. So Knowledge is our first time at Knowledge. It's, uh, it's a great event. Um, very impressed, as I said, with the resonance amongst customers. Customers are really happy. We're, there's clear patterns emerging. Happy customers. Life was a nightmare before ServiceNow, mm -hmm. and now it's getting better. It sounds so cliche, it's, it's almost boring hearing the same stories <laughs> over and over and over again. But so, so congratulations We don't get on tired that. of it, no, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we have some great segments this week, and, uh, and so congratulations on that. I mean, that's a really, say we do a lot of these shows, and you don't always hear that, that resonance, so I think it's a testimony to your customer base. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you for that. And uh, we find this uh, happens with every uh, first timer in knowledge. Um, they come to the conference and people are absolutely blown away by the enthusiasm of the users and, um, and, the, and the sort of insatiable appetite our uh, users have for more content and for networking with each other. So, you know, it's a, um, this, is, this is a powerhouse, a powerhouse of an event yeah, you, from you know, that perspective. I mean, you're relatively, you know, a huge company, you know, we do multi-billion dollar company events and, and you guys, you know, we, let's say roughly $400 million this year. This is a relatively good sized conference. We're talking about 4,000? 4, 4,000, we're close to 4,000 this year, yep. The vast majority are IT practitioners, right? IT practitioners, we also have a very strong executive track this year. We have um, 80, uh, over 80 uh, uh, CIO and senior VP of IT uh, types that, that showed up for our executive CIO decisions um, event as well. We have 14 different either CIO or uh, VPs also presenting uh, today and, and a few of them tomorrow as well. And those are submitted uh, um, requests to, to present to the, at the conference. Oh, so how's that all work? So, so we, we do a call for papers and our, our users, we push this out and they um, submit, uh, um, they submit their, their content and their ideas around what they would like to present at the conference. And I think this year we had something like 400, over 400 submissions. Um, and then we go up through a process internally to um, choose which of these we think are going to go be most compelling, what the right mix of content is, and we drive that based on um, surveys we run into the user base to see what they really want to see from us this year, and then we marry the content against that. So how much of the content that you present is presented by, by practitioners, peers that are actually using the product versus ServiceNow employees that are experts? Yeah, I, I, I love this question um, because 90% uh, of the content at, at, at the conference is, yeah, 90% is delivered by users and what I love about this is so many conferences you go to are chock mm. full of you know, vendor hype and analyst puff and um, you know, all, all of this opinion and this is the one place where um, users and also prospects of ServiceNow can come and actually talk to people who have their hands in the product, are looking at the dash executive and management dashboards, and live in uh, ServiceNow. There's a lot of uh, non-customers here too. Jeff and I were, the first night, we're just kind of cruising around. The, the first you know, three or four folks yeah. that we met weren't Customers, they were prospective customers. Yes. So that's a that's an interesting mix. I, I had heard something like 25 or 30 percent are actually yeah. prospects, not customers. Yeah, and I, I don't have the final final data here. We'll see okay. see what happens as we we get through the end of it. But it looked like we were close to 25 percent, probably 30 maybe. Um, the the thing we really try to do is this is a very user oriented conference, and so um, you know we aren't trying to drive a. Um, 
um, an environment here where it's getting overtaken by people who aren't familiar and have their hands in the product because job one here is um, to help the users learn how to do more uh, with ServiceNow, which is really what they're, they're here for. Right. So the thing, Beth, I didn't expect that we've seen a lot of is really the sense of community. And, and we've talked a little bit equating it almost to like, again, the consumerization of IT, saying like Apple and you know the App Store and this community of people that are downstairs building apps. I met a bunch of little integration companies last night yep. when I was down there who were guys that were doing service now at their companies and, and, and decided to go out and start their own little consulting gig, which, which to me, and we're validated today, is this business empowerment that these IT guys are suddenly feeling with this tool that they couldn't ever do before. Yeah, it, you know, it, it, it is a, it's a, a, a major sense of community and what's, what's um, really interesting, and I, and I always tell people this, when I uh, um, joined ServiceNow, I had heard about knowledge, I, I was told I was going to be blown away, and you sort of think, yeah, yeah, you know, everybody loves their, their users, and then, and then you get in here and experience what you guys have seen as well, which is, you know, it is a fanatical, sort of crazy fanatical environment, and, um, and, it, and it, it, it draws a lot of uh, uh, ecosystem around it. And so um, what we really um, tried to do was make this accessible, stay relevant, but make it accessible um, to uh, other parts of the ecosystem. Because we are growing so fast, there are a lot of companies um, and um, um, people, even individuals, who want to build businesses around service now. Right, and right. you know, you saw that we set up our little um, exhibitor pods, and that was sort of the the entry level way to get into the event. And hopefully, the, uh, people there are going to see what this is about, and um, um, they're going to they're going to come back next year and a little bigger and a little stronger, right? Yeah. Um, with well, their and presence. the other thing, I think Fred and Fred's presence is just. Spectacular! These are rock stars. Fortunate to have him here really twice. Is. You know, we talk about tech athletes all the time. We decided Fred is a Hall of Famer. We're yeah. putting him straight into the Hall of Fame. But his his keynote this morning, I mean, it was packed. Yeah, it was packed. In fact, they started a standing ovation for him when he walked out. Um, so just tremendous energy, and I, I, you know, that'll be an interesting challenge for you guys as you grow as a company to maintain that connection that he has with people. I think I met a guy last night. He yeah. said he was. Customer number 30. Yeah. A, he knew that he was customer number 30, and two, it was something that he was proud enough that he brought that up right after introducing himself in his name, and he told me that uh, a couple years back when he worked for a big company, you know, Fred came and sat in his cube with him and watched mm -hmm. him manipulate the software so he could learn how people were using it. This is Bill Collins, last night. Bill yeah. Collins yeah. last night. <laughs> Great yeah, guy. I mean, so <laughs> it's, it's phenomenal energy, and then of course we had Craig on all the way from Australia saying that you know one of the key things he's getting here is collaboration with other CIOs and we talked about kind of the co-opetition mm -hmm. and how does that work but in such a challenging environment for those guys being hit with so many transformative technologies not only yours but just the whole cloud big data uh, tremendous value to be able to come here and share in the in, with other CIOs. Well, it's a diverse audience too. So you, when we go to these big events, you'll get CIOs all the way down to you know IT practitioners, infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, right. And here you see the, you get the full spectrum. And for a smaller company in a smaller conference, you know, four thousand people, we've we've talked to CIOs, we've talked to senior IT leadership, we've got I, we've had IT directors on, we've had IT service management professionals. How is it that you're able to attract? you know, such a diverse audience? Well, it, another great question that I love, the, the, you know, the interesting thing I had, you know, Brian Lilly actually, uh, and he's the CIO of Equinix, he actually was walking back and said, you know, you guys are missing a great marketing angle right now um, because, you know, other, other, uh, other companies are, are going in and they're selling, for example, um, CRMs into the sales organization and they sell very high up where the VP of sales is really the one driving the the application or solution into the organization you know and the sales guys are all there having to suffer through the whole thing right now they can be watched but ServiceNow actually and I and I and I love this ServiceNow is actually a place and a, a kind of application where everybody from the CIO down to the technician lives in it and loves living in it and so you don't really have uh, this uh, um, big brother type uh, thing going on and there's total alignment across the, the users and then um, once you start getting out of IT, right, people start interacting with IT through ServiceNow and they're starting to move into this, you know, now give me some of that. Yeah, and right? you guys, and 
So you got the executive track. We had we were at the hackathon taking yeah, a little little video. So you yeah. got that full spectrum. <laughs> and, uh, and that's new this year. Did right? you check that out? We had the you, innovation awards. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I mean, the uh, fact that people are submitting papers. Yep. I mean, people are really actively contributing to the community. And again, we uh, it goes back to the kind of commercialization of enterprise. This whole kind of open source piece of it, where people are active contributors to the community, yep. um, really. Tremendous. So what do you tell the people that are watching that didn't attend this year, those that maybe are ServiceNow customers and maybe those that aren't? Why should they come here? What's in it for them? You know, I think we've talked a lot about the enthusiasm and, and the, the, the networking, the peer networking, peer-to-peer -peer networking, but you know, what we, what we really have tried to do here is put together a format where in one week every year, um, globally, our users and our ecosystem can descend upon this event um, for the, the richest and actually most uh, economical learning experience they can have, right? Because we've got a pre-con training set up, which by the way, I know you like little factoids, so I, I will tell you with pre-con, right, we had uh, over 900 people registered, which is more people than actually we had at all of Knowledge 11. So just, just to give you an idea of the, the size and, and, and growth here that we've had, but the, the pre-con training, we have 180 breakouts and labs um, going on again, all this content being delivered by our users, um, which, which, you know, where else are you going to learn that, right? You can go out and you can buy an analyst report for $40,000, or you can come here and actually talk to people that use products. Yeah, you know, we're big believers in Wikibon of the you know, peer insight and yep. in peer to peer. It's, we had a number of practitioners on today and uh, one of them said, look, in my region of the country, we have a very strong service now, user base, and yeah, maybe I had some concerns about security and you know, going to the cloud, et cetera, but it was my peers that, that convinced me. So that's really, I think, what, what you get at, a, at an event like this. All right, Beth, so really appreciate you coming by, doing the rundown of the conference. We got, we got the Nowbies coming some in. Special, some special you know, guests coming in. We got these guys, these guys have been bopping around all week, you know, making us chuckle. And uh, so, so come on in here, Nowbies. The Nowbies. Um, it's the Nowbies, it's our Now guys. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> you guys. I don't know, Alex, can you get those guys? They're, here we go. Just don't they're going to run into each doing? other, Look watch out. Go. How are you guys one doing? On, one on or, like, okay. uh, hey guys. <laughs> oh man, it's making me nervous. <laughs> so what are you seeing out there? Tell us what's happening. The what, what are customers uh, saying? What customers are saying? thumbs up or thumbs, thumbs down? Up. What do they think? Ooh, oh, they, they love it, right. huh? Okay, they great. love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so they're gonna, you're going to be back next year? Yeah, we right do on. Do we another date? Do we have a? Do we do another date yet? Boy, it's April uh, uh, 27th through May 1st or 2nd. All right. Back here, back Put in that Vegas. In your calendars. Or? No, we're actually at Moscone in San oh, Francisco. Fantastic! Yeah, oh, that's we'll great. be we'll be in Northern California, right? Excellent. Go <laughs> Giants, Moscone. Yeah, go Giants. <laughs> right, yeah, go Giants. <laughs> we got the red one here. Really like that. Here at ATT Park. <laughs> well, right. need to be for, go 49ers, go Stanford. We got a lot of red. Yeah, right, right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. All right, Beth White. Thanks very much for coming by and sharing with us uh, your perspectives on knowledge. Congratulations on a great event and. Uh, and join us next year. We'll see, yes. you, see you next time, keep it right there, and uh, this is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest.